County Brew Reports is very proud to bring you the 2009 Loyalty Day at Putnam Park. I'm Philip Marin. If one of your two state senators, you give them a call and tell them you're mad as hell about something. And I'm going to tell you what you should be mad as hell about. The Department of Homeland Security issued a report last week about homegrown terrorists. And they identified some people who will be who they consider the possibility it could be homegrown terrorists. This is a report signed off by the government, issued by the government. And what they said in this report is that returning veterans from Iraq and from Afghanistan are disgruntled. And there's a great possibility that they're going to join right-wing extremist terrorist groups and be against the, uh, the United States government. This is very upsetting, because I'm going to tell you why. This is Loyalty Day. Loyalty Day was started when we had communism all over this, the world. We, had, we were fighting communists, and they used to have May Day celebrations. And the VFW and other veterans groups got together and started Loyalty Day to be a counterpoint to those celebrations. And we started Loyalty Day. Communism is all but gone, but we still have Loyalty Day, at least here in Putnam County. And who runs Loyalty Day? The people that are loyal to this country every day of the week, every day of their lives. And for our government to identify a veteran as a terrorist is an obscenity. And I want each and every one of you to take the time next week, give a phone call to the government and tell them the veterans you know, the veterans that serve this country, are not terrorists. But they're people that are loyal to this country and should be honored. Thank you very much. Have a great loyalty. Okay, can I have uh, Harvey Strobe, commander of uh, Hutt Lake Post? You guys had a presentation. May I have Eric Witoshinsky, please? I have a citation that our post would like to make to our Putnam County Sheriff because he works so hard to keep this one of the safest counties in New York State. Unfortunately, he's not here, but Sheriff! Get him up here! Get him up here! Eric? Sir, on behalf of the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, words of citation to Sheriff Donald B. Smith, Putnam County, New York, as an expression of sincere appreciation and praise for services rendered to the community of Putnam County and the unwavering support of VFW Post 9257 Putnam Lake, New York, presented this 26th day of April 2009, signed Commander Harvey Strode, VFW Post 9257. Sir. First of all, Commander Strobe, let me apologize for being late. It's uh, not uh, befitting of a general officer or a sheriff to be late. Uh, I was at the Heart Walk over at Brewster Central School System, and uh, they were doing a little traffic control. My deputy sheriff's over there, and uh, those who enforce the law must follow the law, so I obeyed their directions, and we are a little bit late here this morning. This is a a very special award coming from people who I love so much and admire so much. Uh, I, I really don't have the words to adequately thank you 
for this award and for everything that it means. And it comes on a very special day, a very special day in our country, a very special day in New York State, and a very special day in Putnam County. Because Loyalty Day is really what this country is all about. You know, I wasn't expecting to receive an award here today or to make a, a, a speech today, but I go back to the founders of our country, the Declaration of Independence, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they're endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And then at the end of that declaration, they pledge their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor in order to give us the country that we have here today. The United States of America, the greatest beacon of freedom, hope, and justice throughout the world. That's the country that we have today. Charles Carroll of Carrollton, was so committed to this that when uh, he was signing the declaration they said well there's so many Charles Carrolls they won't know which Charles Carroll it is he said well I'll put my address on it Charles Carroll of Carrollton so the king will know where to find me and since that time generations of Americans have marched to the sound of the guns to keep this country free to keep it strong to keep it that beacon of freedom, hope, and justice throughout the world. Americans today are serving in Iraq, Afghanistan, ships at sea, and in the air to keep us free. And many here have served in time of peace and in time of war. And we're all kindred spirits. And so what Loyalty Day is about each generation of Americans rededicating themselves, ourselves, to keeping this country free and to keeping our community strong and keeping our youth growing up the right way. And so Loyalty Day is about being a voter. It's about being an informed citizen. It's about being a veteran. It's about being a firefighter, putting your life on the line. It's about being a police officer. It's about being an emergency medical first responder. It's about being the, the coach of a Little League team or someone who is in charge of a Boy Scout or Girl Scout troop. It's about serving our youth. It's about youth court. I could go on and on and on, and I don't mean to leave anybody out. It's about service organizations such as Rotary and Lions and Elks, and I'm, I'm going to leave them out. But it's, it's about serving the community. It's about giving back. It's about ensuring that each generation of Americans continues to keep this the greatest nation on earth. So today, by coming here today, by pausing from our daily life, by coming from the Heart Walk or coming from church, and, and by the way, it's about our churches and synagogues. It's about faith-based organizations. That is the very fabric of the United States of America. So today, I really want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to rededicate your lives, our lives, to keeping America that great beacon of freedom, hope, and justice, the model that all nations and are looking to for us to be a leader of the free world.